Hi and welcome to another video from Effective Maintenance Dashboards. In this video I'm going to explain another option for creating a drill through related to a card. Okay, so the first thing is that this report here has already used the technique which I have outlined in my video which is how to create a drill through from a card. I'll leave a link, um, it'll pop up as a, as, a, as a link here, the top corner. Um, so just as a recap, when you right click on here, you can then drill through and look at the work order details. So it's a detailed report. Now, sometimes it is not obvious that you've got to actually right click and then drill through and then choose this report for a new user um, to, to a dashboard. So there's a second option now, which Power BI um, have released. And that option allows you to add a button that you can use. So we're going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is insert a button. So we'll go up here, insert, and we'll choose a blank button here. And it's going to create a button. So we're going to put that in the center here. And I'm going to put in some button text. And the default state is going to be drill to work order details. Let's make it slightly bigger. And I am going to just leave it there. That's fine. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll leave all of that. Um, and then I'm going to just make the outline slightly, slightly smaller. Yeah, even, even smaller. One point. Okay. And then what we do it's fairly simple to set up really. You go to action, switch on the action for this this button here and then there's this option here, drill through. Now it's a preview option so it may change. Um, there's a couple of things I would like to change about this and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but you select that option and then it's got a destination. So now you can select the page. Now that's really handy if you've got multiple pages here. And I've done another video explaining how you would use that if you've got multiple drill through pages. Um, because that is really a, a handy feature for that. So you select that. And then we've got enable tooltip. So this is going to be the tooltip when the drill through is enabled. So drill to work order details. And then we've got a tooltip. So select um, category work, uh, work criticality. Now, I just sort that out. Okay, so we've got this um, tooltip here, and oh, here's how it works. So you're in the, the report here. If it's greyed out like this, now I'm not 100% sure just now, and this is one of the things. I would like to um, to see improved is if it's greyed out, there's no way to actually customise these colours here. Um, now it would be good if you could actually customise these colours using conditional formatting. Again, I've done another video on conditional formatting using DAX and I'd like to be able to actually hide this and only show this drill through button when you select um, a relevant category. But anyway, let's select the category, save to critical, and you see it springs into life here. So then you hold down control, click on the button, and here it is. And this should be just our safety critical work orders. And we can see that's the case. Now that drill, because of the cat because we've gone through, it's going to select really any category. So if I go in here and the way we've set up the drill through is that priority, work criticality, and days and backlog grouping, etc., have all been included. So if I select that and then go to drill through, priority three. It's going to give us our priority three work orders. So you can actually use that drill through for, let me just quickly go back to the drill through page. Let's select environment this time. Now these cards have got to be set up using the technique that I outlined in my video to allow you to do this. So if you just set up a card, you, you won't be able to do that until you set up the, um, the, the overlay on, on that card. The other ones will be fine. So if I click through into here, you can see that these are all the options that have been set up in the drill through here. 
So these days and backlog grouping, department, discipline, site, etc. Are, are all there. So that's why each of these options here, even this one here, if I click on that, this is going to go and if I click drill through, it's going to drill through to mechanical maintenance. Okay, so a little bit of a an option there for a drill through button, a second option, and something I think is is really got really an improvement. Um, like I say, it would be good if you could actually conditionally format the the options so that you can actually hide this and only show it. But the fact that it's greyed out and the fact that you've got this tooltip here that we set up. So if it's enabled, if it's not enabled, then it's telling you to go and select a work criticality. And as soon as you select one of these, it changes because it's now enabled and it says drill to work order details. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. If you want to be able to keep up to date with these videos, and if you like this one, give it a big thumbs up. It's really helpful for me. Thanks very much. And if you want to keep up to date with my future videos, then subscribe to the channel. It's always great to have um, a growing subscriber list. And I will talk to you in the next video.